Thank you. 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 Thank <laughs> well, um, Hare Krishna, the universal language, Hare Krishna. <laughs> so, Chai Radha Madhav, and then we have Kirtos. Yeah. Jagannath Baladev Subhadra Mahani Ki Jai Thai Ki Jai Vlad Mishra Ki Jai Gary Govardhan Ki Jai Shiva Prabhupada Ki Jai Samaveda Vaktaran Ki Jai
I think we spend more time deciding on the topic than the entire length of the class. <laughs> right, we try to find the best topic. Right? And it worked. <laughs> okay, not good. So. 
So today I spent 10 seconds picking a topic. So. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. <laughs> So this is from the fourth canto, twelfth chapter, text number 51. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. This is the second to the last verse in the chapter called Druva Maharaj goes back to Godhead. <laughs> Can you put this by the speaker? And uh, this is more like a summary of the chapter, this verse. Mm -hmm. So we, I'll quickly just read the Sanskrit, and then we can do the word for word. Jnana magyanti tadvaya yodaya satvatevitam Alayodinana tasya deva tasya nubrinate Gyanam Knowledge Gyata tadvaya To those who are unaware of the truth Ya One who Dadya in parts. In parts. Satpate. Satpate. On the path of truth. On the path of truth. Amritam. Immortality. Kripalo. Kripalo. Kind. Vrsta. Dinanatasya. Dinanatasya. Protector of the poor. Deva, the demigods. Tasya, to him. Anugunate, give blessings. So this is the uh, benefit one gets from hearing this narration of Dhruva Maharaj's pastime. But it also gives some important practical instruction. The narration of Dhruva Maharaj is sublime knowledge for the attainment of immortality. Persons unaware of the absolute truth can be led to the path of truth. Those who, out of transcendental kindness, take on the responsibility of becoming master protectors of the poor living entities, automatically gain the interest and blessings of the demigods. <laughs> mogu se dovesti na put istine. Oni koji strasaju kao neljubaznosti preuzmu odgovornost da postanu gospodari i zaštitnici javnih živih bića, samim tim privlače pažnju i stječu glavu svoje polupogova. So, this, the purport is very long, so I'm only going to read a small, small section. Obzirom da je smisla duga čak, počitat ćemo sam jedan manji dio. It says here, devotional service, this is somewhere halfway in the middle of the purport. So it's in the, uh, about the fifth line down from the second paragraph. Devotional service, which leads to the association of the Supreme Lord, is actually immortality. 
Predano služenje koje vodi do druženja sa središnjim gospodinom je u stvari besmetnost. Pure devotees out of compassion for the fallen souls are creepily, very kind to people in general. They distribute the Bhagavatam knowledge all over the world. A kind-hearted devotee is called Dinanath, protector of the poor, ignorant mass of people. Lord Krishna is also known as Dinanath or Dinabandhu. The master or friend of the, all the poor living entities and his pure devotee also takes the same position as Dinanath. The Dinanath or devotees of Lord Krishna pe preach the path of devotional service, become the favorite of the demigods. Dinanath-e-i-bhakti-gospodina-krishne-koji-propovedaju-put-predanu-služenja-postaju-umjeni-tamjena-tasmai-shri-gurudena-maha-shri-shaitanya-nama-vistam-stati-tamjena-hutal
what is our real responsibility? Or what is our primary responsibility? Our primary responsibility is to become Krishna conscious. <laughs> Prabhupada would say human life means to become Krishna conscious. And to live a life in a responsible way that Krishna consciousness becomes the result of one's life activities. That's a great responsibility. <laughs> when one understands what is the purpose of human life, one understands that there is some responsibility in order to achieve that purpose. Responsibility is both activity and a state of consciousness. It's mostly a state of consciousness. And one understands that there's certain things I have to do and there's certain things I have to avoid to take responsibility for my spiritual growth. So responsibility also contains the knowledge needed to carry out the goal of one's activities. A verbal person may be responsible in nature, but not knowing what to do may not achieve the goal, even though they make some effort. So therefore, one part of the becoming responsibility for the results of one's activity is becoming responsibility for what is needed to achieve the results. So Prabhupada said, take charge of your life and become Krishna conscious. <laughs> That is our first responsibility. And we have responsibilities in this world also. They cannot be neglected. Taking care of the body. Taking care of children. Taking care of economic needs in order to maintain the body and children. These are responsibilities too. But if we achieve success in that and we miss the primary responsibility of becoming Krishna conscious, then the scriptures say, Shrama Eva Hikavalon, you simply wasted your life. <laughs> So, it's a great responsibility to become Krishna conscious. Because when you're Krishna conscious, you help everybody. One is Krishna conscious, has achieved the success of all other activities simply by this one activity of becoming Krishna conscious. Because Krishna consciousness is real consciousness. Any other consciousness that is not Krishna consciousness has been adopted due to our association with the material energy. So Prabhupada would say, 
He wouldn't say do this or do that. He would say whatever you do, become Krishna conscious. <laughs> In other words, avoid those activities that make you forget about Krishna conscious or make you forget about the goal of life. <laughs> And accept those things which are conducive to our practice of Krishna consciousness. Responsibility. Strong word. To be, we might break up the word respond to a situation. Or, I mean, it means to act properly to the situation. Or take on the difficulties of achieving success in whatever we do. Take on the difficult austerities. So we all know that. This is all basic stuff, right? This is this is like bhakti yoga, you know, one one, the beginning, right? Become Krishna conscious. And we're trying to become Krishna conscious, right? Well, maybe some of us think there's more I could do to improve my Krishna consciousness. But here is something else. And Prabhupada said this. He says there's two kinds of devotees. One who's concerned only about their own spiritual progress. And one who's concerned about the spiritual upliftment and progress of others. Both are good. They both are glorious. Because anyone who takes up the process of Krishna consciousness is considered to be a great soul. How many people take up spiritual life seriously? Very few. Very few. So one who does is considered to be a very, very great personality. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter what service they're doing, what their position is, what their body is. Simply because they've taken up Krishna concept seriously, they are called Mahatma. These are the words of Krishna. But then there's something else. There's Maha Mahatma. I just made up the word. <laughs> very, very great soul. <laughs> and what does that mean? One who takes on the responsibility of giving Krishna consciousness to others. Mm -hmm. And that's what this verse is saying. It says that one is recognized by the demigods. But Prabhupada adds that and says if you one, one becomes immediately recognized by Krishna himself. <laughs> is to give. You want to get something? Give it. People say, nobody loves me. Try loving somebody. It comes back. <laughs> right? If you wait, why doesn't anybody love you? Well, you yeah, can wait forever. <laughs> but if you, if you show your love to others, it comes back. <laughs> you know, if you want happiness, 
Ako želite sreću, give happiness to others. Pružite sreću drugima. If you have money and you want more money, ako imate novca i želite još više novca, spend it for others. Potrošite ga na druge. Whatever you get, you, whatever you give, you get. Što god da darite, to ćete dobiti. To je zakon prirode. We're talking spiritually. Materially, it doesn't always work like that. But there is some element of truth also there. U materialnom pogledu to baš uvijek i ne funkcionira tako, iako postoji jedan element istine i u tom području. The happiest people are people who are trying to give and not trying to get. Najsretniji su oni ljudi koji pokušavaju dati, a ne dobiti nešto. You might say, well, I'd have to get something in order to give something. Netko bi mogao reći, ali trebam nešto dobiti da bih mogao dati. Yeah, and Prabhupada would also say, yes, you you receive in order to get, and so you can get, and so you can give. So, so getting is, a, is an opportunity for giving. So you have to get in order to give, but the goal is to give, and you get anyway. Prabhupada je rekao da trebaš nešto dobiti da bi mogao dati, ali svrha tog dobivanja je da možeš davati, i u tom slučaju uvijek dobivaš. You give your time to Krishna? There's a saying, even in the material world. If you want to get something done, ask a busy person. <laughs> the person is not busy, you ask him what to do, he says, I got no time. <laughs> but someone who's busy, they know the art of using time, and when you're busy for Krishna, Krishna expands time. Because time is his personal energy, and he can use it to expand it or to limit it. Isto tako, ako radite nešto za Krišnu, Krišna je vlasnik vremena, vrijeme je njegova osobna energija i on ju može proširiti ili suziti. Tako da, ako želite nešto za njega napraviti, to će mu uvijek dati vremena. This is the beauty of Krišna consciousness. To me je ljepota svjesnosti Krišna. If you want, I just like I gave this lecture, not the same lecture, but something similar, about three weeks ago. Nešto slično, poput ovog predavanja koje sad držim, održao sam prije tri tjedna. And so there was one devotee sitting there. I'm going to mention his name. This was in New Shantipur in Kalavats. So I was saying, you know, if you give your money, you get more money. So when my lecture was over, he gave me a hundred euros. <laughs> He said, I need some more money, so I'm an investment. I tried to explain this wasn't my reason for saying this. I wasn't trying to get money from the lecture. <laughs> he saw it as a good opportunity to increase his finances. So. <laughs> and since then, I think he's been doing better. <laughs> <laughs> so this is how Krishna consciousness works. <laughs> of course, it's not so good to give with the idea of trying to get it back. <laughs> When one gives simple, simply because it is the nature of the living being to give. And Prabhupada said our movement is called Paropaka. Paropaka means one who wants to do good to others. <laughs> I mean, this is the symbol, the symptom of successful life. When the mother wants to do something good for the child, sometimes it's very difficult for the mother on her personal level, but she doesn't care because this is her happiness. 
to je može biti teško jer je u pitanju neka podrškoća koja se mora podvrći, a nije važno, nju nije briga za to jer jedino misli na djete to u sreću. Doesn't it give you the greatest happiness when you do something for someone and someone really appreciates and says thank you? Zar vam ne pruža veliko zadovoljstvo kada nekome nešto učinite i to on stvarno cijeni i onda vam se zahvali. Hvala. Odmah mislite kako je vrijedilo to što ste čini. It goes right to the heart. It makes you feel satisfied and happy because you brought some happiness to somebody. Odmah vas to dirne u srce jer ste nekoga usrećeni. But in Krishna consciousness when you do that you please Krishna, you please the demigods and you please the whole world. Ali u svjesnosti Krišne, kada to radite, onda zadovoljite Krišnu, polu bogove i cijeli svijet. Od toga svi imaju koristi. U materialnom pogledu kad nešto učinite, onda to obuhvaća samo te ljude koji su u pitanju. Ali kad činite neke spiritualne aktivnosti, onda se te aktivnosti šire ne samo na one koji su upleteni u taj događaj, nego s time zadovoljavate Krišnu, odnosno polubogove Krišnu, apsolutno istinu. So I started my lecture by saying, take responsibility to become Krišna conscious. Započeo sam predavanje i se vam prihvatite odgovornost da postanete svjesni Krišne. But here's the key. Ali sad ovdje je ključ. You want to become Krišna conscious, give it to others. Ako želite postati svjesni Krišne, dajte svjesnost Krišne. And Krišna will give it to you. I onda će Krišna, svjesnost Krišne dati vama. That's the key of becoming Krišna conscious. To je ključ za postati svjesni Krišne. You might say, I don't know much. Možete reći, ali ja ne znam baš puno. I'm a new devotee. And I'm struggling also. Okay, fine. But whatever you know, whatever you heard, whatever little bit you've gained so far, give it. Just to be kind to people is devotional service. Već samo ako ste i ljubazni sa ljudima, to je predano služeno. Sometimes people say, well, that's material to be kind, it's like, it's not transcendental. Po nekad ljudi u materialnom pogledu nastoje biti ljubazni, to nije transcendentalno. I'm so transcendental, I have no time to be kind. Nekad mislimo, toliko sam transcendentalno da nemam vremena da budem ljubazni prema ljudima. I'm absorbed in transcendence, so don't bother me about anything else. Uronjen sam u transcendenciju, zato me ne mi smeta tisačim. Yeah, it's like that sometimes. Ponekad se to čuje. But the idea is that out of the 26 qualities of a Vaishnav, which are the characteristics of a Vaishnav, number one quality is kindness. Ali zapravo, 26 osobina Vaishnave, koje karakteriziraju Vaishnavu, Osobina broj jedan je ljubaznost. When someone's kind to you, they're grateful. Kad je neko ljubazan, blag prema vama, osjećate zahvalnost. So, we do that to others, how they feel the same way. Znači, kad se mi tako prema drugima ponašamo, onda se i oni tako osjećaju. Prabhupada used kindness to preach Krishna consciousness. Prabhupada je koristio ljubaznost, blagost, da bi propovjedao svjesnost Krishna. He did it a lot. Not as a means for preaching, but just because that's the nature of Vaishnav, to be kind to others. I to nije bilo neke osredstvo propovjedanja, sredstvo koje koristio za propovjedanje, već je to jednostavno i na različite načine. Doing something that a person likes, and they get some benefit from the thing that you offer them, that's one form of kindness. A ako učinite nešto što se osobi sviđa i ako će ona dobiti neku korist od toga nakon što to učinite, to je jedna vrsta ljubaznosti. Another form of kindness is giving something they need, although they may not like it. Druga vrsta ljubaznosti je ako osobi date nešto što je potrebno, ali vi se možda to i ne sviđa. Little tougher, right? To je već malo teže, ne? I mean, if parents let their children do everything they want, is that called kindness? 
A ako roditelji dozvole djeci da rade sve što one žele, može li se onda reći da su prema ljubazni? Moj, foolishness. Prije glupost. And the child doesn't exactly know what to do for them, their own benefit, so there is guidance and correction, and sometimes reprimand. But that's love. If you're always telling everybody the good things, and don't tell them what they need, you're not really their friend. <laughs> Ako uvijek drugim ljudima govorite lijepe stvari, a ne kažete im ono što im je potrebno, zapravo baš niste prijatelji. So preaching sometimes means to tell somebody or give somebody something it's hard for them to understand or even to accept. Propovjedanje podrazumijeva da ćete ponekad nekome dati nešto što im je teško razumijeti pa i prihvatiti. But still we do it. Ali ipak to činimo. And we also do it because we know this is a way to help another. But there's an art to it. The art is to do it in such a way that people like what you're giving them, at the same time don't like what you're giving them, but like to receive it. <laughs> Ipak im se sviđa način, sviđa im se da to prime, sviđa im se način. It hurts, but I know it's good. O, boli me, ali znam da je dobro. I'll tell you a little story. Pričat ću vam malo priču. I think you've probably heard this story before. This was back when Hare Krishna was first beginning in that, and I think this was in Europe actually. So there was hardly any congregation. Most of the temples, most of the devotees were temple devotees. In fact, if anybody over 30 walked into our temple, it was kind of quite rare. <laughs> <laughs> we were attracting young people and we were encouraging them to join the temples. And even if they got married, they lived in the temples. In the early days it was like that. There was hardly any congregation. So we were kind of like let me say, what's the word? Ignorant of the outside world. <laughs> A little bit oblivious, right? May also so one, one, one lady came. And she came first time into the temple. She had read some books that the devotees had given her. And she was inspired to come to the temple. Now she liked to dress in a certain way. Mini skirts. And her hair like way up there. All kinds of lipsticks and perfumes. She smelled very nice. <laughs> yeah, so when the devotees saw her, they thought, she's not dressed for temple. <laughs> so they told her, uh, we like you coming, but you can't dress, come like that, dress like that. It's not nice in front of the deities. But she just listened and didn't like what they said. <laughs> so next time she came, same way. <laughs> the voice got a little stronger. She came again the next time. This time they, they really got heavy with her. And she decided, I'm not going anymore. <laughs> so she stopped going. And then just after that, Prabhupada was scheduled to visit that temple. 
I skoro nakon toga predviđamo se da će Prabhupad posjetiti taj hram. Svi si heard, oh, the guru is coming, let me go meet the guru. I onda je ona čula, aha, guru dolazi, idem tamo da se sretim guru. She really got attracted to reading Prabhupad's books. Zaista se je prebuklo čitanje Prabhupada i knjiga. So, Prabhupad came, and it was a Sunday feast lecture, and Prabhupad just took his seat on the Vyasi sun. Došao je Prabhupad, bilo je bilo pre, to predavanje za, na Sunday Fistu i samo što je sjeo na Vjasnisan, kada je ona ušla u kram. Jer je na najisti način. And she's looking for a place to sit. I osvrnula se na okolo da vidi gdje bi mogla sjesti. Prabhupad je primijetio. He says, Thank you for coming. You look very nice today. You can imagine how she felt. She sat down, listened to the whole lecture. Later she said, your teacher is very nice. That night, or maybe a night sometime after, she decided take her hair down, oh. wear a regular skirts, get rid of the makeup. She said, if this pleases the devotees, then this is what I'll do. Kratko vrijeme nakon tog susjeta sa Prabhupadom, odlučila je kompletno promijeniti svoj izgled i prilagoditi se ono što su bakte tražili od nje. The devotees couldn't reach her by heavy preaching. Bakte nisu uspjeli dopriti do nje s tim oštrim propagiranjem. Prabhupada didn't see the body, he saw her as a spirit being. Prabhupada nije vidio tijelo, vidio je nju kao duhovnu dušu. He related to her like just the way she could accept. I obhodio se prema njoj baš na takav način koji je ona mogla prihvatiti. And her heart was touched. 